Hi there, me, your friendly neighborhood humble stroke assaulter. So we're going to do another comments and questions video. So let me just first thank the 80 people um, that are my subscribers. You've taken the time to join my merry little band of stroke folk. Uh, you've uh, been here from either day one or from yesterday. It's irrelevant. Again, thank you for taking the time to uh, watch my content, to allow me to vent or rant when I feel the need to, um, to watch some of the more serious content that I create and deal with, you know, my offside sense of humor occasionally. So first off, let me just say for those of you that have been watching the channel, um, please, if you're not a subscriber, take the time to like, share, subscribe. You may find some useful content uh, and some insightful content about stroke, stroke recovery, the reasons for stroke, um, and occasionally I, I rant about things. So I'm uh, gonna gonna do another video shortly, uh, and that'll explain things in better about what's gonna happen with the channel. I, I've been thinking about what I'm gonna do with it, but let me just deal with the comments and questions. So, G Bluesman, you left a comment recently about uh, me having played a doctor on TV. Well, it's been more of a joke. Um, I did when I lived in Toronto do some extra work in movies and TV. And there have there was at least one TV series where I was a background extra in a lab coat in a hospital type setting. So yes, I guess effectively I have, I have played a doctor on TV, but I've never had a speaking part in that regard. Uh, Frazzy and Keys, uh, I do hope you are well. You did email me. I emailed you back about uh, uh, post stroke pain. I hope the Im information was helpful, and you're getting the help that you need. Uh, Claire Massey, it's been a while since you've. Uh, made a comment. I'm just curious how your journey is going. I hope you're getting stronger. I do hope that you're seeing some improvement and I hope things are going well with you. So uh, please, if you need someone to chat with uh, or to vent to, you can always email me. Uh, again, my email is strokeassaulter at gmail.com. I'm probably going to say that a couple of times during this video and then again at the end. Uh, so someone left a comment about four weeks ago. Uh, your name is Chills that you enjoy the video and you'd like me to sub back. Well, let me check out your channel and see if it's relevant to this channel. If it is, I'll definitely subscribe. Uh, or if it's something that I might personally enjoy, uh, I'll definitely subscribe. Let me just check out your content first. But I'm glad you enjoyed what you watched and thank you for subscribing. Kali. Uh, Musa, um, you know, another one of our stroke folk. I just wondering how you're doing, how you're improving. Um, hope things are getting better day by day. I'm currently doing research about herbal cures. Or let me better say herbal remedies for stroke. And I intend to produce a couple videos about that in the next month or so. Um, so I am looking into some of that right now. Um, I'm not sure exactly where that's going to go, but I am doing the research. So. Unfortunately, now that I'm back at work full-time and I'm actually working a full-time schedule, it can get daunting. And, and the other video I'm going to do shortly, we'll discuss that. Joy Bradford, hope everything is well with you. Crash says hello as best as he can say hello. Um, he doesn't actually say hello, so but he says hello. Um, he's currently eating something. Uh, Beth G, you're another one of our stroke folk. You had a timeline where you're about to get ready to go back back to work around the end of April, so you're relatively soon in your return to work journey and your post-stroke journey. Um, I did do a series of videos about just my general returning to work after a stroke. I am working on a few more videos about that currently as well. I'm doing some research and trying to put it all together. So just curious how your journey is going. Um, if I haven't done it already, I will create a playlist about return to work and stroke and you might get some benefit out of that. Isaac Newton, um, you left a comment a couple of months ago about statin drugs and mood or uh, depression uh, impairment. Uh, I did a video about that so please let me know what you think. Um, and, and thank you for making a suggestion about statin drugs which inspired me to generate some content. So. Uh, if anyone wants to see me make content, 
about a, a circumstance or situation that deals with stroke or mental health, please either leave a comment on this video or you can email me at strokeassaulter at gmail.com. I say again, you can email me at strokeassaulter at gmail.com. And then at that point, um, I'll definitely do the research. And if it's something that I think is uh, germane, I will definitely look into it. Then there is the kings of CBD. So your dad had a stroke. Um, you were considering either getting him CBD or CBD THC oils. I hope your dad's on the mend for starters. I really do hope that your dad is getting better. Um, he's getting stronger every day. I'm just curious. Did you try the CBD or CBD THC combination oils with your fat father? And if so, what was the outcome? Did, is, was it beneficial? I'm just kind of curious if, uh, if it was. And then Kathy41463, yeah, Kathy41463, haven't heard from you in a while, uh, I hope all is well with you, you again are one of our stroke folk who's in their own post-stroke journey, uh, again, if you need to reach out and chat, uh, you can get a hold of me at strokeassaulter at gmail.com, so please, if you need someone to talk to, and if you're looking for someone that can... Uh, you know, just understand some of what you might be going through and you just need to vent and a little bit of validation, please reach out and, and we can chat via email. Ashley Stubbings, uh, I hope you still consider yourself to be one of the lucky ones and I hope all is well with you. So again, hope your journey is continuing and continuing well and I'm just glad you've joined our married little man. Uh, then Scott Fless, I hope I pronounced that correctly. You've been at a hospital for about four months now, so I'm just wondering how you've been doing, how you've been holding up and what's new in your journey. So again, if anyone that I've mentioned, if you care to publicly leave your comments, please do so down below. If you'd rather a bit of anonymity, um, you can email me again at strokeassaulter at gmail.com. So for those of you that missed my email, it's strokeassaulter at gmail.com. I might not check it as regularly as I should because it's not my day in day out personal email. So, I check it as often as I can, um, and so I might be a day or two in delay. So that's a bit of the Stroke Folk Roundup, per se. So let me just say I've made a couple videos recently that I know would be a little bit politically divisive, and I understand that. So a couple days ago, I did a video on vaccines cause stroke. No, they don't. No, they don't. And no, they don't. So that said, as of right now, 31 views with one like. I wasn't attempting to dip my toe into the anti-vaxxer debate. Again, having six months off of work, you end up needing something to occupy your time. And reading really wasn't doing it for me. So I watched a whole boatload of YouTube. Um, and I just saw people say things that was highly irrelevant and highly irresponsible. So I, I had to say something about that. Uh, the one video that I was surprised took off as well as it did was the negative impact of toxic positivity. That was a video I had intended to make. Um, again, some of my content is inspired by things that happen obviously in my world, things that have happened with me. Um, what you may not know, for those of you that follow my channel, Crash belongs to my girlfriend. She currently um, is involved in completing her master's in counseling psychology. So her, her, she, let me just say this out, you know who you are, and I'm not gonna publicly announce your name over the internet because you, you would try to hit me again. Not that the first time was violent, it was more of a frustration thing. Um, so, I'm very lucky uh, to have her because she has the ability to see things from a clinical standpoint, an academic standpoint, and then she, she knows when I'm having a rough patch. And if you are watching this, because you probably will be, because um, I know you're a subscriber, you have been a godsend. And, and so 
her and I will have conversations about things, either things in relationship to her school or a, a project she's working on or an article she's read or something that's happened, um, and I will create content about it. Uh, another video I did recently on vascular dementia and stroke. Again, they say your YouTube channel is a success if you have at least 50% of your overall subscribership watch a video. Well, those videos would technically be a success by that benchmark. Um, so, I realize that my content may not be for everyone at, at any time, because I'm not a subscriber to the big hug theory. I'm not a... Um, a proponent of there, there, it will get better. I'm more into reality therapy. Um, when I work with young offenders, that would be more of my style, would be the reality therapy. Based on, listen, you've got an obstacle, you're going to have to breach it. You, you don't have a choice. You now, you've been pre presented with an obstacle, whatever that is. You now have to find the most realistic solution to either overcome breach or cross the obstacle and bypassing it doesn't count so if and that's the way i've kind of taken on my post-stroke life i'm not going to ignore a problem it's it does me a disservice in my recovery journey to ignore something if something is an obstacle to me I'm going to fucking breach it. That's all there is to it. I, to me, there's there's only really two solutions to an obstacle. You either breach it or you assault it. And if I have... No, I don't mean assault in the physical sense. I mean get in the face of the obstacle, whatever that may be, and defeat the obstacle. Right? Find the limitations, overcome the limitations by defeating them. Now... Does that mean I don't have bad days? Oh yeah, I have bad days. Does that mean I don't... Does that mean I'm not deliberate? I'm very... I try to be very deliberate. Um, I try to be as planned out as possible when I go to do something. Sometimes I have to be planned out if I'm going to embrace a new, uh, new adventure in, in, in getting over an obstacle. It... To some, it might look like I'm sort of plodding along. But the reality is I don't, in some instances, have the ability to be as quick when it comes to thinking situations through at times. So there are times now I have to back up, reorganize myself, think through the problem, and then figure out how to get through that obstacle. So, And that's just the reality of it. So, for all the, all of you that have joined this Merry Little Band of Stroke Folk, whether you're someone who's going through their own post-stroke journey, whether you're supporting someone going through their own post-stroke journey, whether you watched one of my rant videos and decided that you want to see more of them, well, whatever brought you here and you're now a subscriber or a regular content viewer, thank you. I'd just like to say thank you. Without you taking the time to subscribe to the channel, uh, if not watch videos, if not like videos, the, I'm just talking head on the internet. That's where that comes down to. So again, for all those that have taken the time to like, share my videos, subscribe to my content, view my content, thank you. And for anyone that I've mentioned today, be it G Bluesman, Farrah Keys, uh, Claire Massey, Chills, Khalid Musa, Joy Bradford, Beth G, Isaac Newton, the Kings of CBD, Kathy41463, Ashley Stubbings, or Scott Fless, you know, or anyone else that I might have not taken the time to mention. And it wasn't an, in, an intentional um, act of ignoring. It was just I was preparing a script for this event, so I figured I'd just find some content uh, insofar as questions that have been asked or people that I have... Uh, 
I haven't heard from for a while that I know are going through a post-stroke journey. You know, I am concerned about you, so to speak. Uh, maybe some night I will do a live stream. Um, that will be planned well in advance. And you guys can be given a warning enough time to watch it and view it. Um, if you'd like to see me do a live stream, please leave a comment down below that you would like to see a live stream. And then one night I will figure that one out. Anyways, on that note, uh, again, thank you for those that have taken the time to like, share, subscribe. If you happen to know someone that is either going through their own post-stroke journey or someone who's supporting someone going through a post-stroke journey, please point the channel up to them. They may get some benefit out of the content. And if you happen to see either in yourself or someone around you, the signs or symptoms of a stroke, that being someone who appears to be befuddled, confused, or has a lack of balance, um, I had that. Someone who had vision problems, can't move their eyes in one direction, can't move their eyes up, down. Um, they only see in grayscale. They only see like a little dot out of the world. Didn't have that one. Someone who has facial droop. There's an apparent and noticeable visual slacking of the facial muscles. I had that, and I had that with drooling. Someone who couldn't raise both arms equally, effectively, or at all. Also had that, right-hand side. Um, someone who had inability to smile equally, properly, or at all. Again, had a little bit of that, right-hand side. Um, someone who had slurred, stuttering, and inappropriate speech for situation or context. Had all three of those. Um, had general body weakness. Yep. More weakness on one side, though. You had that. Uh, or had the inability to stand unaided. Yep, had that as well. Please, immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.